my channel or welcome to it if you've never been here. My name is Amy and we make lifestyle beauty videos. I don't know why we said we, it's just me. I guess Bradley helps with filming, but it's it's just me. Hi, hello, welcome back. This is my first time sitting down to film in like two weeks, so it feels good. It feels strange. I pre-filmed some videos and then I went on vacation and if you want to see a vlog from my North Carolina 4th of July vacation, I will link it right up there and down below. I love the way it turned out and I had such a good time and I'm, I just love that I have that vlog now to watch for the rest of my life. <laughs> Anywho, today I am here to do something that I've never done on my channel, at least I don't think I have, and it's a products I dislike video, which I honestly kind of feel really terrible doing this. That lampshade is so crooked, but it's fine. <laughs> I honestly feel really bad doing this just because I don't want to come on here and bash people or companies or products, but at the same time I like to watch these videos to know kind of what to avoid. So I don't know. I don't have that many products. I think I only have six, which is nice, but these are all things that I hated and I'm not going to use anymore. There are things that I don't like that I continue to use or like I just don't love a product, but I, I can use it up. That's, that's a different story. These I am not touching anymore because I dislike them that much. It's not worth it to me to like power through. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with a candle. And I will say all of these brands for the most part, I love. These are just like fluke products that didn't work for me. So first brand is Method, which you guys, if you've watched any of my random favorites or any type of like grocery haul, anything like that, you know I love Method. I only clean with Method products. I use their bathroom spray. You see that in my empties. I love Method. So I tried, I wanted to try one of their candles. It's, this is the Method soy candle in vanilla bean and it barely smelled like anything. I love the way it looks. I think it looks very chic and you can peel off this, the stickers on the front and the back and it can just be this really cute cube, but it just doesn't throw off any scent and it doesn't burn evenly. Like I've tried, but oh, I'm drooling. <laughs> when you smell it, you can smell it. Okay, that doesn't make sense. But when it's burning, it's very faint. So if you like some, if you like candles, just for the look of it and you want a very faint vanilla scent, I'd say go for this, but when I'm looking for a kitchen candle, I'm looking for something to like overpower everything and smell really nice and sweet. And this just didn't do it for me. I had it in the bathroom at first, it didn't work in there, had it in the kitchen. It just isn't working and I'm not even gonna burn through it because it's just not worth it. I just, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I have a couple makeup products. This first one I used for a while and I didn't hate it at first. My bra is falling down. Also this like shirt is the color of my skin. Also it says tea time. Anywho, I used this for a really long time because I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I have this like little compartment in my makeup collection full of kind of like brow stuff that I get in subscription boxes. And I got this, I haven't even said what this is, it's the IT Cosmetics Brow Powder, the Universal Eyebrow Pencil, bri, bri, mm -hmm. Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. It's kind of one of those things where it has the um, pencil on the one end, the spoolie on the other. This is a much fatter pencil than the Anastasia Anastasia Brow Wiz and it's very waxy and very hard to control. I feel like I was just getting it all over the place and then I'd have to clean it up. The spoolie is fine, but whatever. Spoolies are spoolies. I tried to use this. It was a little bit too dark for me, but it worked. Like the color was okay. It was just so waxy and hard to apply. And I, like I said, I did use it for a while, but I felt like it was making my eyebrows look worse. Like even Bradley came home one day and was like, your eyebrows. And like, that's not something your boyfriend should notice. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's time to not use that anymore. So I'm, 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 bye, sorry. I also have something from Tarte, which I don't know if I just got a bad one or if it's just not good. This is the Tarte Precision Longwear Liner, the Lights, Camera, Lashes Longwear Liner. And I have the color brown, love the packaging, but this is so hard to put on. And yes, liquid eyeliner is hard to put on in general, but this is such a long tip. And like, it'd be different if like the tip at the end was like sturdy and firm. It's so flimsy. And I feel like it's even gotten worse since I got it. Like I'll try and show on a uh, camera close up how like flimsy it is. But it just, I always have such a hard time when I try and use this. So I eventually was just like, you know what, I'm not even going to waste my time because I just don't like it. And I love Tarte. You guys know I love Tarte. And I love their um, mascara from this line. I just wasn't into this. But let me know if you have this and you find it easy to apply. I also found it to be a little bit patchy with the color itself, which is never good. But um, yeah, let me know if I got a dud, just let me know. I have a brush and this is from Real Techniques. You guys know I love Real Techniques and I love their Bold Metals collection. So I wanted to pick this up. This is the um, 102, I think it's called like the Triangle Concealer Brush. They have a triangular 
foundation brush that I really wanted to try but it was kind of really expensive and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like that but then they came out with this and I tried this one instead I like the shape of it I don't know what exactly I was looking to do with it but it's so rough and it hurts hurts that I won't use it. I tried it twice for under eye concealer. The first time I was like, oh, maybe it's just new and it's stiff and it hurts. But like, it physically hurts me to where I'm like, I'm not gonna use this. And I've said that in a video before and you, some of you agreed with me. I have a lot of the Bold Metals collection and I love all of them. They're all super soft. This one, not so much. So I'm, I'm getting rid of it because it's just sitting there. I'm not using it. It's, oh, it, ow, it hurts. <laughs> Next, I have a skincare product that I just recently got in like a beauty con unboxing or something. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Light cleansing oil. It says effortlessly and completely removes waterproof makeup, dirt, and oil. Rinses clean without stripping. Okay, there's so many things wrong with this and I like Neutrogena. I do. I don't love it, but I like it. <laughs> First of all, this smells nice. It smells like green apples. It tastes bad, which I know, okay, you're not supposed to be eating these things, but sometimes they get in your mouth and this tastes terrible. It also burns the crap out of your eyes and it doesn't get off your mascara. My simple cleansing wipes gets off all of my makeup. I don't have to use an extra eye makeup remover, nothing. It gets it all off with one wipe. This in the shower with hot water and everything can't get off my mascara. And I don't even use like waterproof high-end mascara. Like, shouldn't be that hard. So it's not getting anything off my eyes and in turn for that it's burning the crap out of my eyes. I don't know if it's just because like there's something in this that I'm sensitive to or what but I can't use this. Can't. It didn't break me out or anything so I guess that's good but I've used plenty of cleanse off oils before that I loved like I just I'm just so lazy about taking off my makeup. I do it but I prefer to do everything in the shower that's why I shower at night so I can wash off my makeup because I hate washing my face in the sink. So any type of like oil I love to try in the shower so I was excited to get this but I hate it and I even tried to power through a little bit and just like oh I can use it up but no it, it burns too bad and I it's not worth it. And then last but not least is a body shop product which you guys know if you've watched any of my favorites videos this past year, you know that I love the body shop. This is the Satsuma Body Sorbet in Clementine, which, uh, first of all, I don't like the scent, which that's on me. I'm just, I don't know why I bought it. It smells good in theory, but like all over my body, I was like, whoa, that is so sweet. But what the heck is this? I, I thought it was a shower gel. I could be totally wrong. First of all, there's like no directions or nothing. So I don't know what it is. Thought it was a shower gel. So I used it in the shower. I'm, I still don't know what it is. I used it in the shower. It didn't really do anything except make the bottom of my bathtub feel greasy. I just burped in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> And it just, I didn't like the way it smelled, so I was instantly like, what, what is this? So then I feel like I tried it also as a lotion, but then it was like too much. I just don't know what this is. And this is the second time that's happened with me with the Body Shop product. They have two different um, formulas of their body scrub. And I tried the cream one in the shower and it just clumps up and it doesn't do anything. But I love the other version, which I don't know what it's called, but I love it. And so I don't know this, I just, maybe I'm not using it right. Regardless, I'm going to pass it on because I don't like the scent for me but if you use these and I'm using it wrong let me know down below but I feel like I've tried all the ways to use it and it just it's just not happening so I don't know but let me know regardless though I love the body shop just not this product okay guys that is it for this round of products I don't like I'm so sorry for all the brands that I just destroyed but I love you as if they're watching. Let me know if you liked these type of videos. I always usually put things I'm getting rid of because I don't like in empties videos, but then I realize I can kind of just collect some and then do a products I don't like video. So just let me know which one you prefer. Um, and yeah, click right here to subscribe or if you're on your phone, scroll down to the little red subscribe button and subscribe so you see my face more often. It'll show up in your inbox when I upload new videos and so you don't have to miss any of my amazing content. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat for more daily fun. I've been really into Twitter lately, so follow me there and let's chat. That's the easiest way for me to talk to you guys too. Um, but anyway, I'll stop talking now. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you very soon with some more fun stuff. And yeah, bye guys. Bye.